What you are about to hear is a story of victory. Victory over circumstances that could seemingly be out of our control if it wasn't for the supernatural. In November of uh, 2015, um, Brother and Sister Ashcraft were in a revival with us here in San Angelo. And... um, the Lord had done just many wonderful things in, in that revival. There were many miracles and uh, just prophetic uh, utterances that were being fulfilled. People were getting jobs. And um, specifically for my wife and I in that, in that service, uh, Brother Ashcraft approached us and asked us if we um, were trying to have another, another child. My wife and I have two boys. Uh, both of them had complications during their pregnancy. They had to be born via C-section. And so after uh, Presley was born, uh, you know, the, the doctor told us that we could no longer have kids, um, that if we want any more children, adoption would be an option. So we, we had been praying about adoption, but because it's many thousands of dollars, it just wasn't something that my wife and I could afford to, to do. Uh, but we did want a little girl, and we'd been praying for you know, the opportunity to adopt. And, um, but in that, in that service, brother Ashcraft asked us if we, if we wanted to have another child. And I I told him that we definitely wanted to adopt, but it was so expensive. And he told us that during that revival service, uh, that he, he had seen in the spirit, my wife and I holding this little blonde haired, uh, blue eyed baby girl, and that God was going to give us a little girl. And so we just continued to pray about it. Um, but in March of, of the following year, just about five or six months later, uh, one day my wife sent me a text of this little girl. Um, and there was no caption, just a picture. And I just replied back and said, I want her. And um, a family that was in the church had, um, had a baby and they just were not able to take care of her. And so they were... Uh, going to be putting her up for adoption and so um, we went through the process and of, of trying to get her adopted there was a lot of complications the adoption agency actually took her illegally uh, to another city about four miles uh, 400 miles away uh, we did not know where she was the um, lawyers that we had talked to had essentially told us that there was really very little chance that we would actually be able uh, to get her because of the legal system and because of money and and all of the things that were just involved. And I remember sitting in my office and I just asked the Lord one day, I said, why would you promise us this little girl and then not give her to us? And it's almost like immediately as I'm questioning, I hear God saying, I always keep my promises. If I, if I promised I would do it, then I'm going to do it. And so we had a decision to make on whether or not we wanted to go ahead and try to fight uh, to to proceed with the adoption and, and try to fight for the custody um, for Skyler. Um, and I just called my wife and I said, we're going to do this. We're going to fight it. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but we're going to fight it um, because I want her. So long story short, we went through the process. It took us about a month um, of fighting. And uh, my my wife and I received a phone call out of the blue from the mother who did not know that we were trying to adopt her and asked her if if we would be willing to take Skylar, that she would sign over her rights to us. And uh, we went and picked her up. And uh, we've had her ever since then. The miracle, though, it, is that we did uh, have quite a few expenses out of pocket uh, for going through the legal proceedings and all the things that were involved uh, with getting custody of her. But when we filed our taxes, we were reimbursed 100% for every penny that we spent on that adoption. And so God fulfilled his word. He gave us a little girl, and, and we are just so thankful for her. And the addition to our family, she completes our family. And we are just so thankful for all that the Lord has done um, in our family and in our church and in our ministry. And we just continue to believe God to do great things. You have been listening to The Supernatural as God heals, feels, and delivers people 
on the face of the earth. God bless you. Thank you for watching, liking, and sharing our video. Until next time. Go back to the pit, devil.